Hey, what's going on everybody? And welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about why your trail camera pictures have probably started going away. Let's go. Hell yeah. <laughs> so as you probably noticed as I have over the last couple weeks, trail camera pictures are starting to vanish. You're getting some, they're probably primarily, primarily at night time. Um, and it's because of a couple reasons. One reason is, is most of you probably get your trail cameras over corn, as I, as I do. Um, well, this time of the year, and over the last couple weeks, the woods have been changing. So what's happening is your oak trees are dropping this year is a good acorn crop, acorn crop, a very good acorn crop. They're just dumping, dumping, dumping. So it's kind of like, picture your corn as salad salad is good a lot of people can eat salad every single day um but if you have an opportunity to have a big old steak especially if you've got some strenuous activities to do later you, you'll probably go for the steak or at least i would so that's what's happening in the woods uh, acorns have a lot more fat um now's the time you want to really target your white oaks uh, if you're still open to killing does um i don't know that you'll see many bucks most bucks right now are going almost full nocturnal it's definitely limited uh movement on the hoof during daylight hours um they're still there don't freak out don't panic the bucks are still there but things are changing so you're going to want to target your oak trees your muscadine vines which i know have been dropping check the picture out they've been dropping like crazy for the last several weeks and um the corn is just not getting touched this is the time of the year um when i stop putting corn in my feeder save that money because they're not touching it anyway they're going for high fatty high energy food consumption for the big rush that's coming up in the next couple weeks so it's all about patterns the the summer patterns changing they're going to the fall pattern um you know there's a lot going on with the deer right now i'm going to do a video um my next my next video actually i'm going to cover the deer top five deer glands that you need to know about as a buck hunter or as a deer hunter in general because they they pretty much share most of the same glands you need to know that stuff so I'm gonna go into that further but right now I just wanted to solve the mystery for everybody the deer are still in the woods they haven't vanished um, I would recommend that if you're going to pound the woods right now a lot of people back out for now as these changes are happening I guess mainly it's like for myself so I'm not tempted to kill does but um I've been successful I, I mean I haven't went very much because of my personal life obligations and stuff that I got going on but almost every time I've went, I've seen deer. If I put in the time, I've seen the deer. I would recommend move sites. You know, don't burn out your number one stand. If you've got a climber and you're hunting a small track of land, still move. I mean, if you can move to the white oaks especially, I mean, they're going to hit all oaks. Little water oaks, little pin oaks, stuff like that. But primarily, if the acorns are dropping in your hunting area, focus on the white oaks. Focus on the muscadines, apple trees, because the deer are going to attack those sources while they can for the short period of time, getting ready for the big race coming up. Special thank you to all my subscribers. If you have not subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. We've got a lot more videos to come. I'll see you on the next one.